The updates on emulation just keep rolling in my friends. This time, I'm bringing you an update on the progress of Ryujing's forks. And let me tell you right off the bat, I've already noticed some performance improvements in one of these projects. Before I dive into these new projects, please hit that like button if you enjoy this kind of content. And if it's your first time here, consider subscribing so you don't miss any updates. Let's start by discussing the developing projects aiming to replace Ryujinx. If you want to know what happened with Ryujinx, I'll link the previous video in a card above. We won't get into that topic here again. Also, in the last video, I mentioned Ryujinx Mirror as the most promising fork, but that info has changed, so feel free to disregard that earlier recommendation. With that said, let's dive into these new projects. First up is the project from Dev Keaton the Bot. This one seems to be progressing more slowly. So far, only three builds have been released, with some code merges that were rolled back due to conflicts. He hasn't clearly outlined the goals on GitHub, but it looks like he's working on implementing a UI called Avalonia. I looked around for examples of what this might look like, but there aren't any visuals yet. We do know that this addition will make the emulator a bit heavier in terms of RAM usage, requiring at least 8GB to run smoothly. So, if you're not a fan of Ryujinx's QD interface and are looking for a fresh aesthetic, this could be the project for you. The second project is Ryujinx Mirror, which I've already tested. This was the first fork to pop up, and in its first week, it introduced various tweaks and minor compatibility improvements for the Steam Deck. Altogether, Ryujinx Mirror has had nine releases, starting with rebranding, social media changes, and the removal of unused links. The project also fixed some minor controller-related issues and added extra settings. The GitHub goal here is to keep the repository as true to the original Ryujinx as possible, only with minor fixes and infrastructure improvements. For added security, all social media references were removed, but the original authors and contributors remain credited. They also mentioned potentially incorporating LDN, Ryujinx's online multiplayer network, directly into the project, eliminating the need for a separate project to play with friends. With Ryujinx Mirror, you can expect something similar to what Sadachi did, keeping the Ryujinx brand and core intact while only addressing critical issues as they come up. However, updates for this project are paused for a week, as the lead developer is currently occupied and won't be releasing anything new during this time. I tested this project's performance in its latest version, and it performs just like the original Ryujinx. Don't expect major changes yet, as it's still early for the new devs to dig into the code and implement anything too significant. And to wrap things up, let's talk about the Ryujinx fork developed by GreenDev, which I currently consider the true successor to Ryujinx. It's genuinely impressive what he's achieved, with 25 releases available so far. While many are translation tweaks and minor fixes, it seems, unlike other devs still getting familiar with the code, GreenDev might already have prior experience with Ryujinx, at least that's the impression I get. This project has introduced some interface changes, like adding small visual icons for each option. Plus, you can now designate a folder for your updates or DLCs, and the emulator apparently applies them automatically when running the game. For those unfamiliar, in Ryujinx, you only need to specify the DLC or update path without installing them to NAND as you would in Yuzu. Another significant addition is the auto-updater, which makes life much easier for users. You no longer have to manually check GitHub for updates. On startup, the emulator checks for updates and notifies you if there's one available, letting you decide when to install it. This fork also has an integrated LDN tab, though I haven't tested it yet to see how it works. In recent days, I've been using GreenDev's project, and it does seem to run better than the original Ryujinx. I directly asked GreenDev if any performance improvements had been implemented, and he responded that any gain would just be placebo. Regardless, on my PC, I observed a slight improvement, gaining about 3 to 5 FPS over the original Ryujinx. These tests weren't planned, as I hadn't even spoken with the developer at the time. This slight FPS boost could just be my personal experience, so I recommend testing it yourself and sharing your results here. Those are the three main Ryujinx forks so far. I'll link all of them, along with their project discords, in the first link in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.